Welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to go through a better management strategies in hybrid energy storage system for transport vehicles. Before we start with our introduction, I would like to request if you are not yet part of our family, please be part of our family by subscribing to our channel share our contents comment and like this video you can as well join our membership team or donate our channel in order for us to continue have doing making videos like this and so that you can as well have access to our models and have a special attention in your request hybrid energy storage system is a combination of one or more energy storage technology with complementary characteristics to provide an optimal solution not achievable by any single technology. For this research, we are using a lead acid battery and lithium ion battery, which will be coupled by two bidirectional DC DC back and boost converters. The starter lighting and ignition batteries are used in transport vehicles for two main reasons, which are starter, starting function and service function. For this case, our research is focused more on the starting function, which the, the current that is needed to start a car. And why hybrid energy storage system? Increase of load demand in transport vehicles Consequently, the demand on the battery also increases. There is a need to increase efficiency of the battery in terms of lifespan and storage capacity. Currently, no single battery technology is able to fulfill all those requirements. Therefore, there is a need to develop a new, a new hybrid energy storage system. The benefits of a hybrid energy storage system First, it improves a vehicle acceleration. Second, it improves overall drive efficiency, thereby increase the driving range. Reduce the cycle cost by extending the battery life. Reduce the capital cost by directly replacing replacement of some batteries. And increase the energy and power density of a hybrid energy storage system. Management system. The type of management that is used here or the type of battery energy storage system is based on the triple loop PI controller, which is used to charge the hybrid energy storage system and at the same time is charge it. There are two flow shards that was proposed for this research. The first one is the flow shard during the charging mode. Here we can see our start. And we have our par parameters during the discharging mode. There we have our current demand. We have our ax um, current demand during the starting function and have our aux auxiliary current demand. We have our state of charge. We have our lead acid and lithium ion currents. And, the, and we have also the, our hybrid energy storage system current, which is, the, which is the addition between the lead acid and lithium ion currents. Here we have two conditions, as we can see. We have when the current demand is equal to the CCA, to the cranking current ampere, and state of charge of hybrid energy storage system is, is equal or greater than 99%. And if this condition, if it's true, it means that the hybrid energy storage system will supply the require the current to start the car, which is CCA. 
And the state of charge of the hybrid energy storage system is designed to be between equal or greater 98.9% or between 98.9% to 99%, which means that the system was designed that it should not be less than 98.9%. And is greater or equal to CCC, CCA, if this is not true, means the, the required current from the hybrid energy storage system will go to zero and then you will not start the car. The second, the second condition is when the I demands go to auxiliary current and state of charge is greater or equal to 97. This condition if it's true, the hybrid energy storage system will supply the current for the auxiliaries load. If it's not, then the I the hybrid energy hybrid energy storage system current will be equal to zero, which means it won't supply the auxiliary load. The next shot, the next flow shot is for is during the charging mode. During the charging mode, we all, we have also two conditions. There we have our starter, we have our parameters which are the I alternator is the uh, is the current produced by the alternator, and we have our our current demand state of charge of hybrid energy storage system. When the alternator is producing, or when the alternator current is greater or equal to the I demand, and the state of charge of hybrid energy storage system is, is, is less or equal to 99.8, if it's yes or not, if it's yes, this means its alternator supplies the current to the vehicles at the same time it charges the hybrid energy storage system. If it's not, means no action. The car will only be supplied, the, the hybrid energy storage system will only be charged when the alternator is, is producing enough current to supply the car at the same time to charge the hybrid energy storage system. Continuing, then in this in this research we are using a triple loop PI controller. As you can see, our schematic we have our V references, we have our V lead acid battery, we have our V charging reference with, with our our V lead acid battery, we have our V references, we have our the same is the same type of model from lead acid battery and lithium ion battery and then voltage and current pi controller for charging and discharging modes this paper we, you you can find in the description below for the references and then we have our two gates for that goes to our back and boost our bidirectional back and boost converter We are using a full active topology for this research where we have our lead and acid, lead, lead acid and lithium ion battery. Each of battery is coupled by a bidirectional back and boost converter, which are connected to the, our DC bars. In this case, we are using our DC bars as the alternator, which is connect the load. The hybrid, this is the, our full schematic of the our proposed battery management strategy in hybrid energy storage system for transport vehicles. As you can see from the switches one, two, it goes to our back and boost convert at the lead acid battery. And then the switches three and four goes to our back and by directional back and boost convert and our switches three and four. You can have more details in, in the paper that was published in our journals. And you can see the output of the two outputs of the bidirectional converters are interconnected, which is connected to our DC bars. And in this case, our DC bars is in the car, in the vehicle, 
is represented by the alternator. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. Now in the next videos you, you can go through, you can have the model in our MATLAB and as well you can find this paper in our journals.